फ्रेंड्स गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी वन अल्ट्रा फाइव जी रन ऑन एंड्रॉइड इलेवन वन यू आई थ्री पॉइंट वन एंड पावर्ड बाय एक्सिनोस ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड प्रोसेसर विद ऑक्टा कोर टू पॉइंट नाइन की गर्ट्स विद जी पी यू माली जी सेवन एट एम पी फोर्टीन वेर एस हवावे पी फोर्टी प्रो रन एंड्रॉइड टेन ई एम यू आई टेन पॉइंट वन एंड पावर्ड बाय किरन नाइन नाइन जीरो प्रोसेसर विद टू पॉइंट एट सिक्स गीगा हर्ट्स ऑक्टा कोर विद जी पी यू माली जी सेवन सिक्स एम पी सिक्सटीन If you see the display of this device, you can find 6.8 inches screen size with a dynamic AMOLED 2x display that comes with a resolution of 3200 by 1440 pixels with 515 ppi density and also comes with front and back Gorilla Glass Victus screen protection with aluminium frame. Whereas in Huawei P40 Pro OLED display covers 6.58 inches of the front screen with Resolution of 2640 by 1200 pixels with 441 ppi pixels density. Talking about the internal memory, then Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G is available in different variants: 128 or 256 GB with 12 GB RAM, while 512 GB with 16 GB RAM. But there is no micro SD support. Friends, as far as concerned about the colors for this device, then it is produced in Phantom Black, Phantom Silver, Phantom Titanium, Phantom Navy, and Phantom Brown colors. Moving on to Huawei P40 Pro, it is available in different variants of primary storage. That is 128 GB, 256 GB, and 512 GB with 8 GB RAM, and also supports nano memory up to 256 GB. Friends, as far as concerned about the colors for this device, then it is produced in Silver Frost. Blush gold, deep sea blue, ice white, and black colors. Friends, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G comes in dimension of 165.1 by 75.6 by 8.9 mm and weighs 227 grams. This device supports dual nano SIM also. Whereas Huawei P40 Pro measures 158.2 by 72.6 by 9 mm of height, weight thickness, and 209 grams of weight. With the hybrid dual nano SIM option, about the rear camera setup, then Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G consists of quad 108 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12 megapixels with 1.8, 4.9, 2.4, and 2.2 aperture with wide angle, periscope, telephoto, ultra wide, PGAF, laser, autofocus, optical image stabilization. 10x optical zoom and 3x optical zoom with LED flash, auto HDR and panorama mode. It shoots out videos up to 8K at 24 frames per second with HDR 10 plus, stereo sound recording and gyro EIS. Friends, if you are a selfie lover, then a great 40 megapixels front camera with 2.2 aperture with wide angle secondary camera with PDAF is also available. That can record videos up to 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second. Moving on to primary camera for Huawei P40 Pro, it comes with a quad camera setup that is 50 megapixels plus 12 plus 40 plus TOF 3D megapixels cameras with wide periscope telephoto ultra wide with the depth sensor and 5x optical zoom with LED flash and panorama. It shoots out videos up to 2160p at 30 or 60 frames per second with HDR, gyro EIS, and also equipped with dual 32 megapixels uh, primary secondary camera with 2.2 aperture, wide angle autofocus, and IR TOF 3D secondary camera with uh, up to 2160p at 30 or 60 frames per second video recording. Friends, Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G is integrated with under display and ultrasonic fingerprint sensor with some more sensors like proximity, gyroscope, accelerometer, barometer and compass. On the connectivity side, this phone comes with Wi-Fi, dual band, Wi-Fi direct, hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, USB type C 3.2, USB on the go, fast charging with 25 watts. Reverse wireless charging 4.5 volts, but there is no headphone jack available in this device. This phone is powered by non-removable 5000 mAh battery as well. Whereas Huawei P40 Pro comes with under display optical fingerprint sensor with infrared face recognition. It also comes with some more sensors like compass, accelerometer, proximity, and color spectrum with gyroscope. 
this phone comes with Wi-Fi, dual band, Wi-Fi direct, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, hotspot, infrared, infrared port, Type-C reversible connector, USB and go and fast battery charging with 40 watts. This phone is powered by non-removable 4200 mAh battery as well. So that was the quick comparison of both smartphones. You can also check further details in the description below. What do you think about these smartphones? Do let us know in the comments section below. I hope you liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.